Welcome back. Well, on to our special se segment, uh, Midcap Spotlight. Sonal is here with us. Uh, she's going to put the focus on the Q1 FY24 earnings performance of packaging companies. So now tell us more. Well, it's been really bad. Very weak set of numbers across all the companies, actually, because of the weakness that we saw fundamentally in the sector itself. Starting with Uflex, which has down 6% reported numbers uh, yesterday itself, it was a revenue decline of 19%. They saw EBITDA decline of 58% and reported a loss of 468 crore rupees versus a profit last year. And the company said that, yes, the packaging business is facing headwinds globally due to high inflation in the US markets and the European markets as well, two major markets for the packaging industry. Cosmo First also reported weak set of numbers. Their revenues were down 22%, EBITDA was down 63%, and profits were down 85% on a YY basis. So there are two types of packagings. One is BOPIT and the other one is BOPP. So they say that the BOPIT supply is far, uh, supplies far in excess of demand and BOPET margins are therefore likely to be under pressure. However, the other segment, which is BOPP, that could see some recovery in coming quarters. Esther Industries is the other one. They also have seen a decline and majorly led by their film segment. Revenues were down 34%, EBITDA down 86%. They also reported a loss versus a profit last year. And the company says that demand was adversely impacted by the recessionary headwinds that they saw in the US markets and films businesses impacted due to challenging environment both in India and globally as well. The packaging major SRF also spoke about it, how there's more supply than demand globally and in India. Their margins came in at 6% versus 23% on a YOY basis. And demand supply mismatch scenario expected to continue, according to SRF, especially in BOPET. So BOPET is one segment where spreads continue to see a decline. And, you know, packaging industry, it's quite cyclical in nature. FY20 and FY21 were strong because of higher demand and lesser supply also. So the spreads were higher. But because of this, in FY21, uh, people people started or companies went ahead and increased capacities during COVID due to strong growth. But there was not a side-by-side a, a -side increase in their demand as well. And more capacity additions came in, more than the demand, and that led to fall in BOPET and BOPP spreads as well. And that is exactly what happened here. And that's why I've seen sharp decline in YTD moves for these stocks as well, be it Cosmo First, which is down 17%, Uflex is down 30%, we have Esther down 26%. So across the board, weakness has been seen, and it is expected to persist as well and that's why this decline across the board today okay all right uh, Sunal, thanks very much for that well on that note we need to also wrap up on mid cap radar with the news that there has been a recovery in the markets your stocks just after a short break